Good evening and welcome to the web webinar. In just a few minutes, we're going to start talking about MyLion and, and the exciting new release of new features this week. And we're also going to talk about Learn, the membership benefit that is the world's greatest secret is going to be re revealed here tonight in just about a minute and a half. We're so excited that all the lions are coming in and getting settled in. Give us just about a minute and a half and we're going to start uh, with this outstanding seminar. Hello. Hello. I. We're going to start in Hello? just a few minutes. Come on in, settle in, and ha get you a seat. In just a few minutes, we're going to start talking about my lion and the learn the online learning management system, the greatest membership benefit to our association. Good evening and welcome to My Lion Report and Celebrate Service. Lions Clubs International, the world's largest service organization. And the only way that we can continue to use that as our tagline is to know how much service we're providing because we have a goal of serving 200 million people a year around the globe. And it's because of our outstanding clubs, 48,000 of them getting out daily and helping to improve the quality of life for everyone in the community that we're able to continue to be the world's largest service organization. It all begins at the club level. And at our level, we need to begin to report that service and our staff has worked extremely hard to streamline that reporting and to roll out a new reporting opportunity uh, this week. And so I'm so proud to uh, introduce you to Liz Husky. Liz has been with our association for six years. She's always been in the IT department. And recently she has taken on the responsibility of being the product owner of my LCI and my Lion. Liz, thank you for joining us this evening, and I'm excited about the information that you're going to share with us about how to report our service and how to celebrate our service and how that you have worked with the IT department to streamline the process and make it easy for our clubs to participate in building the success of our association. Welcome, Liz. Thank you so much, uh, I.D. Thompson. I really do appreciate it. And I wanted to um, start by saying I'm, I'm very honored to be here to present to you today uh, the My Lion uh, Report and Celebrate Service section of the webinar. And uh, we also will be talking about the Learn, which is a newer feature um, for free online courses. So I'm going to go ahead and begin the webinar. And um, please feel free to enter any questions into the chat, and we will make sure to answer any questions that you may have. So my lion is where you can report your service. Uh, that is all. You know, you can also, uh, you know, plan your service projects. Um, one of the things we did when we introduced my lion is we introduced a brand new concept of planning service, not just reporting. So that's an exciting feature that um, is available to you. We also have planners available um, as you plan your service if you need assistance with something new you might be trying. And uh, one of the benefits of planning your service is also sending invitations out uh, to other users um, and members in your club and other clubs. 
Uh, we uh, also have uh, uh, the ability to connect with other lions around the world. And by doing that, you can go ahead and use our messaging service. And um, you can also see basic metrics for all of the work that you're doing out there and all the service that you're providing. So how do you access my Lion? We have a variety of digital devices that you can use. You can use your PC, your laptop, uh, your tablet, or your mobile device, or any device with a web browser. And um, there is a mobile app that you can download. But today, we're going to focus on how to register and how to report service using the web via a PC. So the first thing I want to walk through is kind of um, basically just how do you register for your account. So to do that, we're going to walk through that process now. And you want to make sure you go to the lionsclubs.org site. And we have a link out there uh, called Member Login. And if you click on the Member Login, you will be brought to the login screen. And it welcomes you to your Lion account. You're going to go ahead to the right of the page and click on the register button. And when you do that, it's going to ask you a question. It's going to say, Have you registered for the My Lion app? Earlier, I said you can download a mobile app. We just want to make sure that if you've already registered, that you don't re register again. So go ahead and you would say, No, you're registering for the first time. And then once you do that, you will be brought to the Create Your Lion Account screen. And I kind of want to walk you through what you need to know in order to register. It's best to have all of this information available when you, walk, uh, when you log in. So the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure you know your member ID. And if you're not sure what your member ID is, you can always check with your club secretary and make sure that you get what that is. The date of birth, um, we're just making sure that we collect this and that it's accurate. So go ahead and type that in. The date of birth is not necessarily has to match our system. We just want to make sure that our records are accurate with your current date of birth. Then you're going to see that you can select your uh, what you're going to log in with your account username. Your account username is either your email address or your phone number. We recommend that you use your email address, and that is simply because it's much easier to match what our system database has. So when you enter your email address, make sure it's the same email address that we have on file for you. If you're not sure what it is, check with your club secretary. Again, they should know what is in our system. Liz, let, let yes. me ask a question there. Uh, would it be good uh, then if maybe all of our club secretaries were to print out the roster of members along with their membership number and their contact information and share at their next meeting? So registering for, for My Lion uh, would become easier for all of our members? I think that's a great idea. I think that would really help everybody feel confident that when they go in to register that they have the right information. And then if an email address is not correct, uh, would they then go back to their club secretary who has the ability to edit membership records and correct uh, an email address so, so that they could then register and log in here? That's a great point. Yes, it's a great um, idea to make sure that if it's not matching your current email address that you use and that you want to use, they have the ability to go in as a secretary, make that change, and then you can go ahead in and use that email to register. And then you don't have to worry about changing it later. Okay. Thank you so very much, Liz. Sure. So um, after you type in your member ID, date of birth, and email, you're going to go ahead and type in a password. There are some limitations, but they're right there on the screen. It should be at least six characters, include an uppercase and a lowercase and a number. And once you select your password and type it in, go ahead and read the policy, privacy policy in terms of use and select the box that you agree. What happens next is when you uh, continue, we're going to be sending you a verification code to make sure that you are who you say you are. It's going to go to your email address that you registered with. 
and you're going to type the code in here. Once you type the code in, go ahead and select continue. If for whatever reason you don't get your code in within 15, 20 minutes, it may uh, time out. Just go ahead and start the registration process over again to make sure that you get a new code or you can ask to resend a code right here on the page. Once you select continue, you're ready to log in. You've created your account, you're going to type in your email address and your password you've created and click continue. The next page you're going to see is what we refer to as our digital ecosystem. You will have one login that will get you into all of the applications we have available in LCI. You may not have access to all of them based on your permissions. For instance, My LCI is an officer only tool. So club presidents, club secretaries, or officers can go ahead and log into My LCI by clicking on the go. But regular members who aren't officers will see that that is not available and will not be able to select the go button. And that falls true with the rest of the applications. My Lion, which is used for reporting service. Shop, Insights, which is also a kind of a newer tool that we've introduced to show uh, to show you um, all the different uh, information about the trends of membership and service activity and donations, they're all in there. And then of course our Learn product, which we're gonna tap into just a little bit at the end of this webinar. Liz, also, because I've got sort of a more narrow screen on my laptop, sometimes mm -hmm. I have to scroll down to see the last couple of opportunities there. And uh, I might just see my lion, my LCA, my lion and shop. And I, for a long time, I didn't realize I had insights and learn until I accidentally scrolled down. I said, oh, look, I've got new new tools there. And so uh, <laughs> everyone, may not, everyone <laughs> may not be as a technology uh, challenged as I am. But uh, I, I thought it was nice to, to have found those things. That's a very good point, and thank you for pointing that out. Everybody should at least see these five applications we have available. If you're only seeing a few of them, scroll down on your page and you should be able to see the remainder at the bottom. So now I'm going to walk you through our reporting service. Um, I You'll notice that I refer to the reporting service in this particular side presentation as report the old way. After we go through reporting the old way, we're going to talk about reporting the new way. What's really exciting is that we just launched Monday of this week a new way of reporting, and we have been receiving some very positive feedback about it. What's wonderful about it is, and some of you may have already created an account and logged into my line and attempted to report service or fully completed service reporting. Well, we've been listening to the feedback. We've been listening to, hey, you know, it takes a little bit longer, it's a little bit more cumbersome. And we, we've started listening to a lot of the feedback we've been getting. And what we wanted to do was make sure that we focus on what's going to make it the best reporting service we can with the system that we have. And what's really great is we simplified the reporting process. We did create a situation where you're able to, if you want to, continue to report the old way. The old way also is very um, much uh, the process as if you want to plan an activity, which we're really not getting into in this webinar, but it's the same process to do that. So I'm going to walk you through the old way of reporting, and then we're going to take a look at the new way. As mentioned earlier, this is the system you come to or the screen you come to when you've logged in. And you're going to go ahead and select Go on the My Lion application. And when you do that, you're going to log into this home page of My Lion. And at the top, you're going to see Report Past Activity. 
I'm going to go ahead and click on Report Past Activity. And when you do that, you land in the Report Past Activity page. The reason it lands you here is because you want to see all of the activities that may still be unreported. If you're an officer, you're able to report those. So you're going to be able to see them here. Any one that has been started that still need to be reported. An activity will land here if it has passed. Uh, we only report activities that have happened in the, you know, that have happened in the past. Those activities that have been reported for your club are at the bottom of the page, and you're welcome to go view those and, and make sure that they look good. Up in the right-hand corner is the Create Past Activity button. That now has changed to look like a different button, but it does the same process as what we're about to see. We're going to report a past activity from scratch. And when you click on that report button in the old way, you're going to be brought through what I refer to as a wizard. It's going to take you step by step through reporting this activity. So the first thing you need to select is the type of activity. We have three options right now. We have service activity, fundraiser, or meeting. We're going to go ahead and select service activity and click continue. And then we need to select the cause. Any one of the five causes is available. And if your activity doesn't fit into one of those, we have an other option. We're going to go ahead for this purpose and select diabetes and click continue. The next is based on the cause you've selected, the system then prompts you all the various service types available, or excuse me, project types available that you're, you can um, select. And if it doesn't fit into one of the categorized uh, service projects, you can select the other as well. But we're going to go ahead and collect one and uh, click continue. The next page is the detail page of the activity. You're going to go ahead and fill in all the information about the activity. The date range must be in the past. The system will not let you report something in the future. It must be a past date range. If you wanted to, you can go ahead and select to add a photo. We have default pictures that follow your activity, but you're welcome to upload your own photo. There's a privacy settings at the bottom where you can select if you want everybody to see your activity or search for it or find it. And then when you're done uh, entering all your details, you're going to click continue. The next is, page is, mm -hmm, go ahead, Jerome. This is, is, is continue going to always in the old system going to be there on the top right hand or the, the bottom right hand? In the old way, you'll notice that there's always two continue buttons, one at the top and one at the bottom. Either one will function the same. I, I hope when we get to the new one, it's easier because I always have a hard time finding those whenever I, I'm reporting. But I, I'm excited about the, the new system that you're going to talk about shortly. Well, one of the one of the feedback I've all, already received from one of my uh, district governor lines that I communicate with often is he sent me an email and said, oh my gosh, I don't have to click continue. And he had about five exclamation points after that. So it is it is a frustrating um, process to hit continue all the time and find it. Are you at the top or the bottom? So all of that has been removed with the new process. So I'm, I'm excited to show you as well. Excellent, thank you. You're welcome. So um, because we're entering an activity in the past, we now are able to go straight into the celebrate and share screen. And just remember this little piece of information. The reason that I'm getting this far is because I am a reporting officer. A reporting officer of a club is the person who can go ahead and enter the final details and select report, which then sends the report to headquarters. So the celebrate and share screen with all of the beneficiary information, the hours information, and all of the actual data that you'd like us to collect is now on this page. So you're going to go ahead and type that in and click continue. Finally, we give you a preview page just to make sure everything looks good. If something needs to be changed or altered, you can go ahead and click. There's a go back button, but um, otherwise you can just click and uh, submit. 
uh, or I think it's a submit, maybe it's a report button, my bad. Um, the button at the top or the bottom is now referred to as a report. Go ahead and click that and the system will let you know that you are reporting your service. And if you're comfortable with everything, you click submit and you're done. Your service has been reported. The next section is the exciting one. So we just went through several screens of how to report an activity. With the new way, that is very much reduced. And so I'm excited to show you what released on Monday and what we're receiving very positive feedback from already. So let's go ahead and walk through the new way. When you go ahead and log in and land on the home page, you're now gonna see that the report past activity is right in the forefront on the menu structure. So go ahead and click report past activity. And Liz, be, if, mm -hmm. Liz, if they still want to, pl to plan an activity, uh, publicize it, send emails and things of that nature. That feature is still there, but for us that just have gotten in the habit of taking and reporting our service activities only when we completed them, then we have this simplified form. Is that right? You're absolutely correct. Um, one of the confusing things that happened when my uh, when my Lion was launched was we we introduced this brand new concept of planning a future activity. And the way that it was structured was there were two flows. There was a report past activity, which is what most officers and lions have done in the past. It's once something has happened, you go ahead and you report it. But the plan feature was a new concept and we wanted to give lions an opportunity to use a planning feature where the actual activity hasn't happened yet. And through that planning process, we allow you to download planner, um, you know, PDFs to help you plan an event. Maybe it's something new you haven't tried before. Those planners are out there for you to download. There's the um, invitations of inviting other people in other clubs to your activity. There's a lot going on in the plan future activity. We're not focusing on that tonight, but that is definitely still available and it is um, out there for use. Thank you. So um, with that said, if we go into the report past activity, we land back on that past report past activity page, but notice now that the report button is nice and big and red. This is like a very clear definition of we're gonna report an activity that happened in the past. So we click on the report button and we are now brought to a very simplified single report page. And what's really exciting about this page is that you do not have to walk through a wizard and click continue. It's all right here. And if you are a reporting officer, you can click on that button and enter all of your details right now. There's a few additional um, enhancements we made to the report form. Uh, one of them is the system is basically hide show. So you're only seeing the minimum of information that you need to enter. And if you need more, the system will show you more fields. An example of that is if you happen to select, you know, your activity type of service activity and your cause is hunger. Now you will see uh, the the beneficiaries and the hours and all of that will come up, all the metrics you want to enter. We also have simplified the required fields versus what's optional. So it's really exciting because you're only going to see what you need to see to finish your report. The red fields are what you need to save the report. And if you look at the bottom, there is a save key down there. So if you start entering your report and you find, oh my gosh, you know, I'm missing some information. I'm going to have to go check on that. You can save your report at any time if you, um, as long as you have the minimum fields that are in red. To report your, uh, your activity, there are some, it, they're hard to see probably on this particular page, but there's a little red asterisk next to any of the items that are required to report the activity to LCI. Another feature that we added, which is really exciting, um, is the photo opportunity at the bottom. You now can load, upload, 
multiple photos of your activity. You're not limited to just one. So that's a very exciting feature that we added as well. So once you've entered all of your details, you can just go ahead and select the report button. It tells you you've successfully submitted it. And you're done. You land on the report page. You now will find your activity in the reported section. And again, any of the unreported activities still waiting are up at the top. Liz, let me ask a question. Mm -hmm. uh, you use you use the term reporting officer. What does that mean at the club level? Who, which officers are allowed to report uh, service activities? That's a great question. So, the office reporting officers at the club level are the club president, the club secretary, the club service chair, and the club administrator. We also have the LEO Club Advisor on behalf of the LEO Club. We have the LEO President, the LEO Secretary. And then we also have, if you're in an area where you have a district administrator or a multiple district administrator, those uh, positions can also enter on behalf of a club. That, that's awesome. Let me ask another question to you. You're doing a great job and beautiful job. Is every member allowed to put in some of the information and then just the reporting officers are able to review it and report it to LCI? Or is it just the reporting inf officers that can enter uh, the information from begin to end? So at this point in time, that's a great question. Any member can help plan a future activity. And if a member goes into plan and enters all of the details of an activity and helps promote and advance that activity. Once the date has passed, it moves into the unreported activities list. Only an officer can go in and report it. Um, a member can, not, can only view it. They cannot actually enter or edit it just yet. That is an enhancement we want to do in the future where members can help edit and update activities for an officer. Um, but the reporting key would only occur for a reporting officer. Does that answer your question, Jerome? It does. It 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 does. So if I'm a member of a club and I want to plan that activity, I can go in under the planning and plan it in advance. And then once it happens, the reporting officer comes back in and adds the impact numbers and how many people were involved in his report and uh, all of the members then have helped me to, to do my job as the reporting officer. And, but I'm sort of the gatekeeper to make sure that good quality information is reported to LCI. You got it, that's exactly right. And we have one question that's been typed in the chat box if, uh, before we move on, if you don't mind. And it says, is there a button to report an activity as a signature activity? So back on the reporting page, I'm going to go ahead and go to the previous page. You will see um, that there is a signature activity selection here, and it is a checkbox. All you need to do is select that checkbox, a yes, and you will have uh, flagged that activity as your signature activity. Awesome. And a lot of times when I'm talking uh, to Lions, they ask, how do you define a signature activity? And I don't know, I, I guess I'm asking you for your definition because my definition has been it's something that you do on a recurring basis that your club is known for in the community. But how, how, what's the official definition? I think that's pretty much it, Jerome. I, I really do believe that that is the actual definition of a signature activity. The confusion often comes with my LCI in the old way, um, way, way old way, when we used to report in my LCI, uh, the signature activity was used um, in a very, very different way. And it was, it was not expected to be used as um, necessarily a copy feature or um, you know, something that could just like pre-fill other activities. 
it was really meant for um, just what you said, a reoccurring activity that your club is known for, that you want to um, flag as a signature for your, for your club. And so what we've done in the um, My Lion is try to streamline and have everyone using it consistently. So what you'll find in My Lion is that you can create an activity, flag it as a signature activity, and we have a duplicate or a copy feature that allows you to copy so that you don't have to recreate every activity from scratch. You can go ahead and duplicate something. It will pull over the signature flag and just continue uh, your signature activities and make it even easier to report as you do those activities. I am so impressed that our staff has listened to the lions of the world as we have worked together to perfect or bring this system closer to perfection. Thank you so very much for, for doing that for us. There, there has been another question that has been typed in the chat box and that is, how can a club report a donation? I'm assuming that, that that's a donation that a club is making to a charitable cause in their community. It's just a financial. We've been talking a lot about the hands-on service projects, which Lions are known for, but for those times that we write a check to support another uh, project, how, how would we go about doing that? That's an excellent question. And as a lion myself, um, I uh, report the service for my club, and we often donate quite a bit. And um, you know, as part of that, I recognize that it's challenging to refer to my, our donation as a service activity, but that is exactly what we do. We create a, a service activity, and one of the um, options in the metrics is to enter the funds donated. And then in my description, I would explain what, what we've donated and to whom benefited. What we've done in the new way, as we're actually getting better and soon in the very new, near future we are going to add a new activity type so that you do not have to refer to it as a signature activity you could actually refer to the activity type as a donation so we would have service activity fundraiser meeting and donations uh, we're not quite there yet but it's on its way so until we get that released to you i would recommend selecting sign, uh, service activity and then using the donation metric box to enter the donation you've made. That is awesome. Thank you so very much for that, Liz. And I'm, I'm sorry to disrupt your presentation, but the Lions that have signed on to this webinar are so engaged. They're, they're very complimentary and telling us how great that uh, the new system is. But there's Wonderful. also a few questions. And sure. one of those is, who would they need to contact at LCI to get guidance on setting up district administrators or multiple district administrators and getting them access to uh, my lion? How would they do that? So I definitely would defer to my wonderful member service center team on that, but I'm going to attempt to answer it myself and hopefully I will answer it accurately. I believe that we have a process that the clubs would need to follow and it is strictly by uh, submitting a form. I don't know the form number but if um, if one of the member support service center team would like to um, law, uh, just answer and uh, I would really be appreciative. Hi Liz, this is Antoinette. Um, they would send a request to my LCI at lionsclubs.org and then we would in turn send an authorization form and then they just fill it out and return it back to us. Thank you, Antoinette. Antoinette, you are, she's the assistant manager of our customer service division, and she provides membership satisfaction every day. Thank you so very much, Antoinette. You're welcome. Liz, I, that's all the questions we have right now. We just have a lot of praise continuing to come in, but let's awesome. continue until we get another question, if you don't mind. Sure. So where we left off was once we reported a service activity, we landed back into the report past activity page, which actually is a workflow that was specifically designed to do that. It did the system didn't use to do that. But what's really cool is if you are wanting to enter another activity, you're right where you need to be to go ahead and select that report button again and continue on. 
The other thing you can do on this page, you'll notice that there's a report button at the top. You can go ahead and report other activities or view any of the activities that you want to. So we're going to go ahead and move along. And one of the things that I want to show you very quickly before we go into the learn section of this webinar is at the very top of my lion, there is a, in the upper left hand corner, there is a My Lion selection with a little carrot. It kind of tells you where you are. You're in My Lion. If you click on that, you will now see all the available applications that you can move to, just like if you were out on that original page when you logged in. You do not have to log out or find your way back to that page. You can just click on that top left bar and it will bring you to all the available options again. And we're gonna go ahead and act like we're slickling learn, and we're gonna go ahead into the learn system. Liz, this learn system is one of the benefits that I think is the world's best kept secret. Lions have got to find a way, and we're, we found a way with this learn, to blend the different sections of a person's life we go through learning, earning, and returning. And a lot of people think this got to be in that order. We go to college and we learn, and then we get a job and we earn, and then when we retire, we return to our community and give back. But Lions Clubs International, with this new learning management system that is rolled out, gives us an opportunity to attract younger members who are still in the learning and earning phase because we're gonna help them build a resume. There are some outstanding courses that are very specific to Lions Clubs, but then there's about 25 or 30 courses that can be taken online at their own pace that deal with personal growth and leadership development, time management, conflict resolution, and then there's more, about 12 or 15, that's gonna be added between now and June of 2020, according to Dawn, that is on our staff there in the leadership development department. department. As a matter of fact, I've been talking with two uh, prospective members and they very well may join and pay an annual fee just so that they can build their resumes and get the promotions and the raises that they need because it's part of their professional development plan at work. This is a great opportunity for us as Lions to build membership, but also to build membership satisfaction, because when we add value to our members, our members will add value to our clubs and our, to our community. Liz, I'm so excited, I, I could talk for hours, but please help us to, to move on through and, and share some of the secrets that's behind this door. Well, I'll do my best to get that done, Jerome. Thank you so much, and feel free to um, to add any benefits that you may have. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just continue on and show you a little bit about what we've designed. We'll quickly take a look at the online training uh, feature, and we'll also take a look at the um, local training in a minute. So. We're going to go ahead, when you, when you click on the learn, you're going to land on um, this main page. And if you look at the very top, it says online training, you're going to go ahead and click on go. It's a direct link to the updated learning center. And when you get there, you're going to see a few things. On the left hand side, there's a menu structure. And from there, you can go ahead and select a course library to see all of the courses available to you. In the center of the page, you're going to see all of the courses that relate directly to you. And what's really cool is all along the top, you can go ahead and select the different varying um, progress that you're in. Uh, basically one that you've started and haven't finished, which is kind of cool because my understanding, and Jerome, correct me if I'm wrong, but my understanding is you can go ahead and start a course on your time and um, finish it on your time. So it'll keep track of the ones that you've started. It'll also keep track of the ones that you may have been assigned. And if they're overdue or not started, they'll show in those areas. And then finally, it'll also show you the ones that you've completed. And you can always look at your history of courses that you've completed, which is very helpful when you're updating your resume or need to see your history. 
Um, Jerome, have I missed anything? No, I, I think it's great. I, I just get goosebumps thinking about <laughs> how that we're going to change the lives of our members in that 25 to 35 year range that are building their resumes, that they're, they're trying to polish off their professional skills. And we as Lions are going to not only serve our community, but we're going to serve our members by giving them this opportunity. Absolutely. Well said. Thank you. So next, I'm going to just really quickly talk about the local training area. So if you go into there, this is an example of what you might see when you access this area. It's at the upcoming local trainings that your MD or district coordinator may have published for you. And by selecting the tiles, you'd be able to um, see more information about the specific course. Um, all Lions and Leos are going to be able to have access to all of this great training stuff. And um, again, it's just a, a great opportunity, as Jerome said, for those of you interested in improving your skills and your um, education and anything else that you may need. And Jerome, I'm going to go ahead and give you an opportunity to add anything else that I may have missed. You have done a beautiful job, but I do have a, a question. And you have a couple of times mentioned Leos. Now, if I'm a Leo, how do I get access uh, to this uh, system so that I can, uh, as an officer, report uh, service activities of my LEO club, or as a member of a LEO club, take advantage of this e-learning system? It's the same process as any lion. Um, as long as you have your member ID, because every LEO will have a person ID, a record ID that they should be able to find uh, using, you know, their club secretary or whoever keeps track of that. So make sure you have that. And then also make sure that you have your email address on our file. Once you have those two things, you can log in and create an account and go in just like everybody else. And so the, the LEO advisor or whomever needs to put their individual information in so they have their own unique member number along with their email address and then they can use that to get their single sign-on and then access the, this great information. Uh, that That is wonderful. Now, I, we, we have more questions coming in and someone asked, is there a test environment that where that they can train on this platform and maybe provide training to others on this platform? That's a great question, and we do have a training site for my lion. Um, I'm not quite sure if we have the same training site for um, the learn, but I can check that out. But for my lion, we do, and I will try to get that URL or the link that is needed to access it for you, and then maybe we can provide that to the attendees at a later date. That would be awesome. And uh, I think that one of your staff back in Lions Clubs International has typed a message that says, it is myapps-training.lionsclubs.org. Perfect. That's it. You got it. Is that it? it? Okay. That is it. But, yep. But as we send out the recording to everyone who registered, if we could put in the text of that mess message, that uh, training uh, site, that would be awesome. Um, and then someone else asked about if we were going to talk about the metrics button, any at all. And that was outside of our scope tonight because we were so excited about the reporting <laughs> and the e-learning. I think that we're going to have to, to impose upon you, Liz, to come back and, and talk about some of the insights along with whoever owns that uh, product uh, there at staff because there is so much great information there. And I'm a competitive type person. And so I always look to see how many people per member we've served in my club. And I compare mm -hmm. it to the district and the constitution area and the world. And as long as we stay above the average, I think we're setting trends. And I find that using those metrics. Uh, was there anything that you can share with us about the metrics tonight? Or is that another product owner that we need to uh, engage at a later webinar? 
Well, there is another product owner for Insights, and her name is Galena Veselovsky. She has been the data guru of all that is service, membership, clubs, um, donations. She, she's been kind of leading the way in that. But Insights is an amazing um, new tool that we did. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go back and just kind of make sure we take a look at um, that particular uh, area the here, the insights. This is what we're talking about for those of you who might not be sure. It is one of our applications that you um, now have access to just by creating an account. And when you create an account, whether you're a member, an officer, uh, district, multiple district or higher, you can go into Insights and get some great information as Jerome mentioned. And it's all based on who you are. So if you're a member, you're going to be able to see your club information and you can compare it across other clubs in uh, worldwide. So it's really exciting. It's a great way to stay connected, to understand where you're performing and where everything is. And, um, you know, it's it's just a, a wonderful tool. So I don't know that I can add much more than that uh, tonight, Jerome, but uh, again, be happy to, to engage whoever we need to in the future. And leave that up there too, because we might as well plug the shop because all of us are looking for the uh, new <laughs> Uh, shirts and bags yeah. and the bling that says Lions Clubs International on it. And also yeah. when we when we host our membership growth events, the tablecloths and the napkins and the plates, and we can go to shop and get those. And also that's where we order those new improved membership, uh, new member kits. Yes. Aren't they wonderful? But right yeah. there at shop is where we can get all of that. Someone ha ha that has typed another question and wants to know, uh, how do you recommend reporting hours on an activity that spans several weeks, like a fundraiser over a period of a month, and can they report hours as they occur weekly, or do they have to wait until the activity is done and report all the hours at, at once? How, what do you suggest that they do there, Liz? Well, that's a that's an interesting question. I think sometimes it's hard to know some uh, how to gather all of the hours and all of the stuff that spans over several days. But one of the things that I will show, and I'm just going to go ahead and try to get back to that new report form for you. You'll notice that there's two options now. We have a single day or a multiple day option. If it's a multiple day, go ahead and select that, and we're going to let you put in a start date and an end date. We do hope that you've logged your hours and just put in the total hours that you've spent over the course of that time. It includes planning hours. It includes all of the hours spent toward the activity in planning, in attending, and then, of course, getting it all reported in, um, in the system. So it is a total collection of hours. OK. And then if for some reason uh, there's a record that needs to be edited or changed or you've discovered that there was a typographical error after you've gone back and look, looked at your matrix and things, is there a way to edit? There is. When you go into your report past activity area and you land on the report past activity page, even if it's reported, you'll notice there's a view button. If you were to click on that button, you can go into a reported activity and edit it. And you can do that at any time within the current fiscal year. There's no rush or urgency. You can do it any time within the current fiscal year. If the fiscal year has ended and you still need to make changes, we give you 15 days to do that. And that has been consistent with what has we've done in the past. So it is still editable and you're welcome to go in and do that. And you could even delete it if you have to. Um, if you, for whatever reason, want to delete and restart or something like that, it's also an option. That is awesome. And apparently everyone loves your presentation as well as I do because several <laughs> have asked, can they get a copy of this PowerPoint to share it with their districts and their zones uh, to help clubs and secretaries learn how to report uh, more effectively and efficiently. And so is that a possibility, Liz? 
Oh, absolutely. We just need to know exactly how to get it out there. Um, I'm sure the folks on the on the call, uh, other than myself, have access to this PowerPoint, and and we'll be happy to distribute it as needed. Who would they need to contact? It's Lions International, or do we want to try to put a link to the PowerPoint in the a message that goes out to everyone that registered? I'm going to defer to my global action team guys and kind of decide how you guys think best to distribute the PowerPoint. Liz, I think we're going to give them time to study on that. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, Hi, everyone. We... Hi, everyone. This is, oh, I'm sorry. This is Melissa from JT. Everyone who has um, logged into the presentation will receive a copy of the presentation as well as a recording. Awesome. Melissa, you are wonderful. I really think that I can hear the Lions that are online applauding already with all the great information and tools <laughs> that have been provided. I'm just really excited. Now, someone says that they entered a lot of activities yesterday and they just checked their matrix and they don't reflect those activities. Uh, and can I print this page so that I can share it with our members? Uh, how often does the metrics page update and can it be exported exported and uh, then printed to, to share with our members? So the metrics page is an area that we have been really trying to make sure uh, that we spend our time on the right areas for uh, data. Basically the metrics is, hey, what are the numbers? What are the activities? What have you done? And um, we don't have a great export feature. I'm just going to be honest. We have not spent our time on that in the last few months. We've spent it on the simplification of reporting. We do intend to continue to look at a, the best way to export the, the numbers. Um, the, uh, the best way to, to know if you're looking at the right numbers is to give it at least 24 hours. Once you report an activity to LCI, there does need to be a sync uh, process involved where we have to make sure that when we turn around the numbers to you, that everything gets logged in our database and everything is going on well in the back end. So we do ask for you to be a little patient in some of the metrics if they don't show immediately. It may take a little time. I believe that the jobs run every hour but it's best to wait for at least a day just to make sure that they've logged. Uh, we are working on the export feature, um, but right now the export feature isn't um, the most uh, easily read, I'll just say. Basically, whatever you see on your screen is what goes into that spreadsheet. You would then have to kind of do the work to make it pretty and add and delete the, or delete the different columns that might have all zeros in it. But it is definitely out there for you if you need to do that. And I wish I had a better answer, but we're we're working on metrics for uh, a future time. Listen, we're so excited that you worked on the reporting and simplified it. We can take a deep breath and <laughs> get the metrics uh, soon and still be happy. I am so proud that our IT department has become so engaged with the rest of our staff and with our volunteers to make this process so easy. Uh, we've been at this for almost an hour now, and we tried to keep these uh, to an hour. Liz, you know, this is part of the North American Membership Initiative uh, and District 34A, which was one of our pilot districts, uh, was determined that we were going to host regular webinars for our district. And then as it turns out, we had so many seats at the table, we opened it up to everyone so that we can begin to increase our membership satisfaction by sharing the greatest uh, accomplishments of our association and some of the best practices in a lot of different areas. And so this month we've focused on uh, My Lion and you've done a marvelous job. And in just a few months, we're gonna have a webinar similar to this to focus on electing club officers and reporting club officers using MyLCI. The North American Membership Initiative is a great opportunity for every district as it is enhanced and broadened in the next year for every district governor team to opt in to success. And when the, our district governor elects are in St. Charles being trained in just a few weeks, our Vice President Doug, our Vice President Brian, our Vice President Patty, 
will give them the opportunity to opt into success and we'll give them the tools that they need to build a team, build a vision, to build a plan and to build that success and new and creative ways of doing things, new innovations like tonight's webinar is what is going to take in order to increase our membership satisfaction, to retain more members, to engage more members through the e-learning center and to expand our footprint of service into new communities by chartering clubs. Thank you so very, very much for taking your time to help us tonight to be a better association. Liz, you've done a fabulous job. Thank you, Jerome. Thank you so much. And so if there's no other questions, we're going to sign off and we're going to thank everyone, the hundreds of people who have listened tonight, the hundreds of people who have extended uh, their positive comments, asked their questions. And if there's future questions, please reach out to your global action team. We're here to help. We're here to solve problems and allocate resources because when it's all said and done, we're trying to get everyone to live the model we serve and to report the service that they've provided. Thank you so very much, everyone. Thank you, staff in Oak Brook who have helped to answer questions and field questions. Thank you, Liz. Thank you to the audience. Good night, and we'll be talking with you soon. Thank you, Jerome. Thank you, everybody.